Yo, what's up everyone? It's Kid Rohan. I haven't been able to be on the vlog channel and talk about stuff in a while. I need to look at this camera because the camera's right here. And I'm looking here. But um, I wanted to talk about a few things because I feel like sometimes I just need to be complete myself and let go and talk about things I'm going through or things that I passionately believe in. There was one thing that I want to talk about today, which was process. And something interesting I find is that a lot of people value results way more than a process, which like when you think about it, it's cool because results pay the bills, results get the job done, results immediately achieve what you need to do. When we spend so much time on the results of things, I feel like we often rely too much on them and, and end up in places where we're just unhappy and we can't fix ourselves. I found myself in this situation before when you think that, like uh, being humans, right? We're process driven beings, I think at least. We're the happiest when we work out a happy process. It's not if we achieve uh, a million subscribers or if we get a Benz, it's not those things that make us happy. It's the the lifestyle that we live when we wake up are we happy like do we do what certain things do we do it's not about what we have um, because results can be very very um, boosting temporarily but I feel like over time you just come go back to the same person like if you reach a hundred million subscribers or a million subscribers or like a big milestone like that it's really cool but at the end of the day what are you doing every single day are you how are you waking up how are you eating what people are you interacting with those kind of things I feel like matter more so the idea of process should be shifted into something more valuable in our market. Personally, me, I've changed my goals to be more process driven. Like at the end of this year, I plan to have Twitch streams, I plan to have consistent podcast episodes, and I plan to have consistent videos like these. That's my goal. And I have a specific plan for like what weeks do this and what weeks do that, but I have a process driven plan. My plan is not to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, although that would be helpful. Because for me, at least the way I see it, is process is something like, if I get my process right and I fail, then it's not my fault. But right now I haven't gotten my process right. Uh, I haven't done my best. I haven't done the most that I could to ensure that I succeed. So pro th these process driven things are helping help me say, okay, maybe if I'm more consistent with my uploads, my posts, then I'll have more process, right? Process is what I'm gonna stick by uh, from now on. And I'm gonna try to shift myself to be more process based value process, more and be more process driven. I don't wanna get caught up in the wrong things. I really don't wanna get caught up in the wrong things. I don't wanna get caught up in situations where I feel hopeless. When it's result based, I feel like you're more likely to feel hopeless because once you get something and you don't know what else to do and you feel like you should be happy and since we're process driven, we're not naturally happy, we just get up, get in hopeless states and that leads to like depressions um, from what I can see. So it, it's just being self-aware for me to realize that process is what matters most. A good example I think of this is like when you think that buying a Benz is going to make you happy or buying a certain car is going to make you happy. You can grind super hard to get that car, but the truth is that car is not what's going to make you happy. You just there's a certain feeling you feel while getting that car or if you have that car that's going to make you feel happy, that's going to make you feel successful. Um, that car is not going to do it. So after you get that car, it's going to be temporarily all good and great, but then you're going to go back to, whoa, uh, I'm in the exact same position. I'm with the exact same happiness, except I have the car. But that was the goal that I set. That was the goal that I set. Like, oh, if I get this, I'll be super happy. But now I am got it. I'm not happy. What do I do? I'm completely stuck because my one goal was to get that Benz. And now I have the Benz. And you just get in this stuck position where you're like, what do I do? Because now I don't have a direct solution to happiness. At least when I was working towards that Benz, I had a direct solution to get happiness. I'm not happy now, but I'll be happy if I get this Benz. And that also relates to the fact that I think human beings in general, process driven too, but also we're happy working towards something better. We're happy working towards a better version of ourselves. We're working towards a result. But once we get that result, it's just not the same. We don't have anything to work towards. Therefore, life doesn't seem purposeful. Therefore, we get into depressed states. 
something. We always need to be growing. We always need to be imperfect. We always need to make mistakes. We always, we always need to fail to achieve what we ultimately want in order to keep striving. Because if we achieve what we ultimately want in life, then we won't have any purpose and we won't have any reason to continue living. So we need to be imperfect in order for us to live and be happy because then there's nothing to strive for. That's crazy. Like we're walking in perfections and we, I need to recognize myself in this cycle. I'm in this cycle of improving myself. I'll never be perfect, right? But that's what's going to keep me living. That's what's going to keep me alive, uh, wanting to live and wanting to continue working on my goals and my dreams and my aspirations because they're hard, because they're difficult, because I'm not there yet.